Disney's just uh, just done it. They've gone and rehired the man, the main man, James Gunn. Now, do I think this is a good idea or a bad idea? Honestly, I'm 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 torn because his films are creatively amazing, beautiful, stunning, wonderful. But he's done some questionable things. This is the whole problem, isn't it? It's like when your past gets brought up and you've used Twitter for a very long time or Instagram or any social media platform, y you can get found out if you've done some shady shit. And some people might say what he did wasn't shady, but it, it was pretty weird. I mean, if, if a mate I knew was doing that, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing with your time? I, I would, genuinely. I think Disney had a unique situation with him though, which was different from any other um, entertainment company, which was their brand is children. So I think they had a different stance on it at the time. And obviously they've changed on that from other companies because you parents will not want their kids. Some parents will not want their kids to be using Disney products because some people are very, very particular and they will be like, we don't want to have any affiliation with that particular thing. I don't want to say what he did. He apparently he didn't do anything um, physically. It was just um, his niche that something he liked. I, I don't know if there's anything else to it. I don't want to know, but they've sort of taken a moral bullet here, Disney, maybe. Maybe they have, I don't know, for the sake of keeping their IP strong in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because apparently Phase 4 is heavily based on the cosmic universe as opposed to just Earth, and he had a very big sway and impact on that. And going forward, he was gonna apparently have a very big say in the universe. So when he sort of got abruptly fired, it sort of sent everything into flux. And Guardians of the Galaxy 3 got pushed back many, many years. It didn't look like it was going to happen at all. Dave Bautista was throwing a bitch fit. You know, he, you know, it's a friend of his who's lost his job, who he thinks shouldn't have lost his job. I don't know if he should have lost his job. Personally, I don't know all the facts. I don't know everything there is to know. So I would assume it was in a way falling apart and they had to bring him back to basically steady the ship. And looking at it from an entire industry standpoint, there's probably only one reason they actually went back and got him, and that was because he was apparently gonna direct Suicide Squad 2. And Disney, rightfully so, would have looked at that and said, hang on, if he is doing a Suicide Squad 2, that's basically just gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy, because they are mirrored, the way that they were, sh they were filmed, the way they were shot, was that these were the funny guys, these were the jokey guys, the rebels, on both sides. So they maybe thought, if he's going to go and direct a Suicide Squad 2 film, it's just going to take any shine off of a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 film, and it would always have this weird feel to it. So I don't know if, by him coming back, he's not directing Suicide Squad 2, or if he's still going to direct Suicide Squad 2, because I, I can't see him being allowed to do that, just because the tone he's going to give is probably going to be very similar to the tone of his Guardians films. From a business standpoint, I get why he's back. But then if you flip that coin from the other side of the business standpoint, because Disney's primary asset sort of is children, it, it's, uh, it's a bit questionable, probably. And just to be clear, I think James Gunn is a great filmmaker. The first Guardians is one of my favorite films of all time, probably my five favorite films of all time. It really is. And the second one, while not as good, admittedly, it has a special place for me with the connection with my dad in that one. We both have a very particular thing with that film. Whenever we watch it, uh, we watch it two or three, three times. And it, every time, you know, we're not criers in films or in general, but that film at the end of it, I don't know why we both, every time we watch it, just start bawling out. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. But, uh, yeah. So I don't know where I stand on this. What I do know is that he's a great filmmaker and he's done odd and weird things. Bad things, maybe you might say, if you push it that far. But I guess the way the world works is everyone deserves a second chance, right? He didn't commit a crime, you know, supposedly. So I don't know if he should be held in, in the account maybe he has been so far. So maybe it's a good thing to show you can be redeemed. So hopefully that can sway any way possible in that case. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then the mouse himself will come after you. I don't know what he's going to do. He might fire you from whatever job you have. You're not even working for him. He'll come and do it. 
Mickey will come and do it, and then he'll rehire you though because he's feeling bad. But you don't want that. You don't want that stress. You don't want that. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You've been Grand. I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.